Kroger Tender Ray Beef, no other beef so fresh can be so tender, presents Heart in Harmony, transcribed. Ladies, down at our store, I'm asked many times each day to explain just why Kroger Tender Ray Beef is not available right now. I don't mind explaining. Fact is, I'm glad to tell the folks the reasons for the shortage of those fine, fresh, and tender Kroger Tender Ray steaks and roasts. I'm glad because I know the people who visit our Kroger store truly appreciate top quality beef. Right there, by the way, is the reason for the shortage. We just can't get top quality grades because that kind of beef is grain fed. And grain fed beef is always used for Kroger Tender Ray. No, America is not producing grain fed cattle because that precious grain is urgently needed elsewhere. It's needed overseas to feed the starving peoples of many countries. So that's the reason you can't get Kroger Tender Ray beef when you ask for it at your Kroger store these days. Don't forget, though, Kroger Tender Ray beef is world famous, for no other beef so fresh can be so tender. And please remember, too, that until the day you can buy Kroger Tender Ray beef again, Kroger will always bring you the very best beef on the market whenever it's available. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. And now, Hearts in Harmony. The week is here. And as the days pass, before long the hour will be here, and Penny Gibbs will be Mrs. Stephen J. Parker. As he promised, Steve has finished his work in New York and is in Rossville till he and Penny leave on their honeymoon. Steve says... And do you know something, Penny? Nope. We haven't said one word to each other about a honeymoon. That's right, we haven't, Steve. Oh, there's something the matter with us. I thought all people about to be married talked about their honeymoons by the hour. I know I talked over honeymoon plans with all my other wives. Oh? And how many wives have you had? Oh, just a mere 13. I didn't want to take all the girls out of circulation. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, we do have to decide on a honeymoon, darling. Well, you decide. Well, I think the good book says the young lady sort of gets first choice. Well, we've done so little else by the book. Why don't we do this differently, too? You decide. New York? Well, that won't be much fun for you. Haven't you seen enough of New York? Alone, yes. But with you, I'll never be able to see enough of anything. Oh, Steve, you make the sweetest speeches. Nothing specially sweet about that. It's the truth. And it wasn't a speech. I hate speeches. Well, then it was a nice thing to say. No, it wasn't even nice. It was the right thing to say. Well, whatever it was, you don't have to say it, Steve. I just love the idea of you wanting to be with me anywhere. I know you can think of a place, though, that would be more fun for you than you are. All joking aside, darling. I could spend the rest of my life, honeymoon and all, right here in Rossville. As long as I could spend it with you. Steve Parker, if you deny that that's a speech, I'll know you're joking. Look, a guy in love doesn't joke. Are you in love? Who's the lucky girl? Oh, you know her. Do I? Well? Mm, Not as well as I do. Well, what's her name? It doesn't matter what her name is. Saturday this week, she's going to answer to the name of Mrs. Parker. Not the wife of Stephen J. Parker? Yep. Oh, I've heard of him. You have? Mm. What'd you think of him? Well, he's handsome, but not too handsome. And sweet. Almost too sweet. And very brilliant, but not so brilliant as hers. Very wonderful. But not so wonderful that he's unbelievable. Mm. Sounds like a great guy. Mm Mm-hmm, he is. You really like him? Like him? Come here, I'll tell you a secret. What? You promise you won't tell anybody? Promise. Not even the Stephen J. Parker? Well, I don't even speak to that guy if I can help it. What do you want to tell me? I don't like Steve Parker at all. You don't? No. Why not? Because I love him too much. You love him? How much? Enough to marry him. You're going to marry Steve Parker? Mm -hmm. When? This coming Saturday. No kidding? No kidding. Well, what do you know? Well, what do I know? You must be the girl I'm going to marry. I was hoping you'd get around to saying that. (laughs) Oh, we certainly got off the subject of the honeymoon, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what let's do for a honeymoon. What? Steve, let's just travel. Just, Just drive down this road and then that road for days and days and days. It's a deal. With no place special to go. Who wants to go anywhere when you're around? Except right into your arms, like this. Oh, darling. Hey, let's sit on the piano bench, and you can sing me a song. 
Steve, you don't want me to sing. Every day of our lives, you're going to hear me try to sing some song or other. You think you're bad? Well, I'm not the best. Well, not the best, but fair or bad, you better sing and get <laughs> used to it now. I see a little premarital training, hmm? Well, you might call it that. Well, let's see if this breaks you in gently to my ability as a singer. Mm, nice piano. <laughs> oh, give credit to the piano. Well, sure, it plays itself. <laughs> well, let's see how you like this song. I can tell now I'm going to like it. Well, tell me how you like it afterwards here. Somebody said that someone saw you out last night. Somebody said that someone held you awfully tight. Somebody was mistaken, for it can't be right. It couldn't be true, it couldn't be true, or could it, could it? Somebody said they heard you telling someone new All of the little love words that you told me to I wouldn't doubt you, darling, I believe in you It couldn't be true, it couldn't be true, or could it? Somebody said they heard you telling someone new All of the little love words that you told me to I wouldn't doubt you, darling, I believe in you It couldn't be true, it couldn't be true, or could it? Do I have to tell you exactly what I thought of it? Mm -hmm. We might as well start being honest right now. Well, I hate to tell you this, Penny, but... But what? But it was wonderful. <sighs> now, I suppose you wear a hat two sizes larger than usual. No, Steve, you're prejudiced. But I hope you always are. You're happy, aren't you? Mm-hmm, very. No troubles? Nope, no troubles. No worries? No, not a worry, Steve. Not even a small one. You're even happy about... All about the way things have turned out with Jerry Manson? Why do you mention her, Steve? I had to, Penny. I know you're still thinking about her. Wondering what she's going to do next. Half afraid that at any moment she'll still wreck our marriage for us. Do you think she will or can? No. Well, then why should I worry about it? You do, though, don't you? Only a little. Penny? Yes, Steve, I do. I'm, I'm still afraid of it. But you invited her to our wedding. She told me so just before I left New York. Well, of course I invited her to our wedding. Because you thought you had to? Oh, no, Steve, because I wanted to. I had no hard feelings toward her. Good girl. You shouldn't, really. She's done a lot of harm, sure, but actually she hasn't meant to do it, Penny. She's just a jealous, selfish person, that's all. She can't help what she does. She's tricky and scheming by instinct, not by design. I know that, Steve. That's why I'm worried. I'm, I'm still afraid that she'll do something before Saturday and our wedding so that Saturday and our wedding will never come. Yes. Yes, I'll tell Professor Tobin what you said, sir. He's right here in my room now. Goodbye. Beasley wants you to call him tonight, Professor Tobin. All right, Professor Rogers. But will you remind me? I have a terrible time remembering telephone calls. <laughs> sure, I'll remind you. Uh, have you finished reading those papers I brought from New York? Mm, just reading the last paragraph now. Oh, excuse me. Well? Splendid, my boy. Splendid. If authentic. Why, of course they're authentic. Makes you think they aren't. The source? What, what better source could you have got them from, my boy, than from the Manson girl? These are from the Manson girl, aren't they? Oh, yes. And I went with her while she got them, so I know where they came from, too. Splendid, my boy, splendid. These are just what we need to help us into the final steps of our uh, experiment. The final steps, huh? Yes, you should be glad. No, this is the part I dread the most. You could have avoided this final step by not getting these papers. 
I had to get them. You know that. <laughs> yes. But I worried that you'd back down at the last moment. No, Professor Tobin. I don't back down from anything. Not once I start it. And not if I think what I'm doing is right. You know this is right, of course. I hope so. But it's almost too late to do anything about it if it's wrong. Yes, isn't it? The Manson girl actually gave you these papers, huh? How did you manage it? By managing her. You are great with the ladies, aren't you? No, no. I'm a fool and they know it. So they like me. Because a fool is so easy to, well, fool. But who had done the fooling this time? You didn't tell her why you wanted these papers, did you? I may be a fool, Professor Tobin, but I'm not stupid. I'd say you were positively brilliant. Now, about the next move. The final step? The final step. Well, you're to call Beasley tonight. I suppose that's the first thing to do. Yes, and tell him these papers are on their way. Yeah. Then what? Then we'll correlate all that you've discovered in our uh, experiment here and send that on to Beasley. Uh Uh-huh, and then? Wait for the final orders. That's all? Unless something goes wrong along the way. Oh. What are you thinking, my boy? Nothing, nothing. You were thinking that something might go wrong along the way? Am I right? You blame me for hoping that? No, you're only human. Maybe too human for a thing like this. I'm a school teacher, Professor. That's all I want to be from now on. From now on until the experiment is over, you are to be more than just a school teacher, Professor Rogers. Yes, I know. Remember that. And remember this, too. The ball is rolling. It can't be stopped now. I could stop it. You could, but you won't. You have a duty to perform. You signed a pledge. Don't go back on it. I won't. Good. Take consolation in this, my boy. Though the ball is rolling, the worst will soon be over. Why is Professor Rogers so upset? What is he upset about? What papers has Jerry Manson given him? And does this have anything to do with the coming marriage of Penny and Steve Parker? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. You know, ladies, seems to me most everybody enjoys picnics. But there's no need to wait for the proper season and state of weather. Because you can have an indoor picnic just any time you please. Now, we'd always like to offer you a fresh and tender, world-famous Kroger Tenderay steak to grill. But Kroger Tenderay beef is scarce now. So here's something else that will give your family a taste thrill. It's Kroger's sausage. Yes, indeed. We have a wonderful variety to choose from. Frankfurters, wieners, meatloaf, and cold cuts. Each one a new experience in tastiness. And economical, too. For there's absolutely no waste in Kroger's sausages. So, how about planning a picnic-style supper for your family real soon? Give Dad and the children a surprise dinner centered around Kroger's sausage. Remember, genuine Kroger's sausage is exclusive with us, and you can only buy it at your Kroger store. <laughs> 